What's up guys, welcome back to Dieter Plays. We've got a bunch of exciting news here to talk about here in this Roblox news video, but before we get into the news, this is the free item we're giving away on this video, the Fairy Tale Sword. I'm gonna be hiding 12 digits throughout this video, so if you're the first person to find those, enter them at roblox.com slash redeem, then you will get this item right here. Only one person's gonna win it, so whoever's the quickest with finding those and entering that is gonna be the person who gets it. And if you guys wanna have a better chance of getting these in the future on my videos, make sure you subscribe and you've got the notifications on so you guys can show up early and have a better chance at finding those so moving on to the roblox news first thing and uh i mean bloxy awards guys this is huge right here bloxy awards 2022 a lot of people were wondering if it was even coming uh this year and i i mean it's february usually we hear something about it by now or at least even before now same thing with like uh, metaverse champions egg hunt that sort of thing which i i hear that we're not having this year at all but uh we do have rb battles and it sounds like that's coming over the summer but anyways Bloxy Awards. Usually with the Bloxy Awards, there's some free items that we can get. Now, Chubeca put up this post here in the developer forum. It says, with the new year, we know many of you are eagerly awaiting news on the ninth annual Bloxy Awards. So it says, we're aiming to make this year's show even bigger and better than ever before, and we can't wait to share what we've been working on. Without revealing too much, we want to let you know that we will be hosting this year's Bloxy Awards in the fall. So it's not going to be in the spring like it usually is, like it's been traditionally in the past. It is going to be in the fall, which means they just need a little bit more time and i know that every year like this team they're working on trying to make it better and better every year and trying to top what they did in the previous years now last year was a really cool one there was a spaceship inside of this game you were able to go around and watch the whole thing now how do you think they could actually top that this year though what do you guys think i mean there was a musical performance they had the royal blood musical performance thing going on some way that we can interact with it i i really don't know what they could be doing or thinking of in order to try to top this but uh they look forward to celebrating the passion talent and creativity of the roblox community so i'm just glad to hear that this isn't going away because the bloxy awards are kind of like a really big thing in roblox they have been ever since they started and it's kind of important to just kind of show people in the community the developers and everybody uh who have succeeded just show them a little recognition but some devs you know have issues with discovery and becoming discovered on the platform and becoming recognized so that they can even be kind of eligible for a Bloxy Awards, but uh, kind of what are your guys' thoughts on that whole thing? I think a lot of people are really super glad to hear about this. Usually people are pretty happy about the Bloxy Awards, and usually there's some free stuff that goes along with it, so I'm going to make sure that I end up covering this when it does start. So uh, next topic right here, Roblox, you can see right now it says all systems operational. That's great, but this weekend there was a, a bit of a crash, partial service disruption, full service disruption it was going on like crazy it was almost like the great burrito crash of 2021 now it was down for several hours a lot of people were talking about it and it seems like this is happening almost every weekend here on roblox I don't know if it has something to do with like an update, maybe a Pet Simulator X update seems to coincide with this, but uh, if we're getting weekend crashes, it seems like maybe Roblox is growing to be a little bit bigger than uh, the amount of people on the platform, so hopefully they get more servers and they get more technical help on this side of things, because during the weekend, it's just the worst time for Roblox to go down, so guys... Roblox, please, please stop going down, Roblox. We, we need you. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next thing. Meep City right here, you can see is back up. It was down last week. We saw that it wasn't available for a short period of time because it was being reviewed. Basically, what they did is they did some updates here in Meep City, and there's no longer the parties. People had these parties. They were able to get in there. They removed beds, but then put them on there again, and people were just going to these parties and just doing really inappropriate stuff, and they've finally removed it. Uh, it's been going on for a really long time, about five years. Uh, these parties and people just kind of being inappropriate inside of the game. So uh, some YouTubers kind of stumbled upon it and it became a little bit more visible to the public. And then Roblox did something about it after it was kind of like well known. Uh, I, I'm, they could have done something about it a little bit sooner, but I guess it's better late than never, right? Glad they've got that stuff removed and all that creepy stuff should not be happening on Roblox. It's just weird, guys. But yeah, anyways, inside of here, uh, you can see that that area back here that used to have a little little party plaza, a little uh, party hat that you can go in there and start a party. No more parties here in Meep City, guys. No more parties. Make notice something new here. If you go in and you type roblox.com slash promo codes. Now, it used to take us to this promo code page, but you can see really quickly 
it changes from the promo codes page to the redeem page. So the promo codes page is still sort of there, like boom, for just a slight second. But now it seems like the redeem page is like the one-stop shop for redeeming things. Now, uh, initially I was thinking maybe this means that there's not gonna be any promo codes, that would be bad. But it says right here, like how to redeem virtual item codes, how to redeem uh, gift cards, how to redeem promo codes. So this is the one place where you redeem virtual items, redeem gift cards and now promo codes as well it makes sense just to kind of have it all in one place instead of three separate places one for virtual items one for gift cards and one for promo codes so if you come in here and you just type the good old spider cola uh, you could say gift code already redeemed which means it's still a good code so this doesn't mean that promo codes are going away guys it just means that this is the new place now if you just type roblox.com slash promo codes it will still just redirect you over here but it sounds like we still will have promo codes now those usually start coming out like the second half of the year usually the first half of the year there's not a whole lot of promo codes but whenever those are available i will make videos to let you guys know about them uh but yeah so uh it sounds like they're just sort of simplifying that right there it does not mean that promo codes have gone away which i've heard some people saying that was the case so i've noticed something here uh big games the maker of pet simulator x they've just come out with new dog plush they just advertised it there on their twitter it says it's coming soon and it's already sold out like this came here just the other day but you can see right here it says it comes with exclusive redeemable code on tag so this is something that costs like $60 Roblox doesn't get any of that and it comes with an exclusive redeemable in-game code Anybody else noticing anything weird about this? Or is it just me? Yeah, uh, they've updated the terms, the Roblox community guidelines and the community standards. And it says right here, you also may not use third party services to sell products either directly or as a bundle for inexperienced items, exclusive features, or other in-game enhancements, in-experience enhancements. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like this is just clearly and directly breaking that rule. They made this rule. They specifically made this because they were selling NFTs. The guys over there at uh, Big Games with Pet Simulator X. Now, it seems like if you are one of the top earning games, that the rules just don't apply. Is it just me or does that seem how it is? I don't know like why Roblox isn't enforcing it. I mean, actually, I mean, it, it seems to make sense why they're not enforcing it, but they, I think they should really tell Preston, like, you can't do this. You're gonna start setting a precedent here and people are gonna start selling codes and they're gonna be making money that skirts around the Roblox economy. Roblox doesn't see any of it. And then all the developers are gonna start selling things off platform. Now probably won't get away with it unless they have a really really popular game but even if you do have a popular game you should not be able to get away with it the rules should apply across the board to everybody so i don't know just bring a little bit of attention to this i i really hope that they get rid of this i don't think that these like 50 dollars plushies with in-game rewards is is actually allowed here in roblox so they're doing that again hopefully that stops uh as far as like other things events going on so the owl yoga a bunch of free items we were able to get there's those mclaren uh masks those helmets that we were able to get there's also this gucci event that's going on there's some free items we were able to get in there but it sounds like those free items that you get for winning the color block have gone away but there is some of these items right here that are limited so like this right here the gucci glam rock shoulder pads this you were able to purchase this morning for an hour but this afternoon you're going to be able to purchase it again for just an hour then it is going to go limited again like another item right here the uh, gucci queen elizabeth uh, this this item, I don't even know how to pronounce that. It looks to me like, I don't know, one of those chokers, but it's a really big choker. I don't know. This is weird. People don't wear things like this these days. But anyways, this is going to be another item that's going to be available for sale. Then it's going to go limited, and it's going to be worth more. Uh, this item right here already went for sale, no longer for sale, has gone limited. And it was 900 Robux, and now people are selling it for like 2,250 Robux. So they're probably making a nice little profit on that. So uh, those are going to be available. I'm going to make videos for you guys to let you know when those are available so that's another reason to make sure you've got the notifications on so you guys are notified and you guys can go in there and get those limited items while they're available and earn some extra robux if you want to resell them for yourself all right guys well that's it for the roblox news here today i'd love to have you subscribe hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys later